Okay, fellas, we're in uh, mad scientist mode this time of the year. I found out one of the things I keep coming up with is uh, I need better glue, glue for tying my flies, you know. I don't like using super glue because it just, uh, it stuff stinks. Uh, on Mangrove Coast Fly Fishers, at his YouTube channel, this is where I got this video idea from, was his. He made his own fly tying glue. Now this is good for fly tying and jig tying, anybody who does anything like that. What you start with is just good old fashioned goop. And this is essentially enough materials for a lifetime supply. This old fashioned glue, just get the all purpose type. It's a multi purpose glue, permanent bond, waterproof, paintable, uh, good for use on wood, glass, metal, laminate fabric. I mean, that's exactly what. And the second product, what we're this is the glue, but we're going to thin it out with this stuff called xylene or xylol. Uh, it, it see it thins epoxies and enamels. That's what it's done. You know, it's kind of like paint thinner or something except we're using it to thin So I think of it as glue thinner. You can get this from Home Depot, Lowe's, places like this. Get same thing here. Get the big tube because the big tube is cheaper per whatever. I've got an old medicine bottle. Got an old paintbrush we can mix. So there's that. Comes with a nice punch there. Okay. So he said about a toothpaste full of glue. It's about a toothpaste, you know, you know like if you're going to brush your teeth or something. We'll start with that much. Seal that bad boy back up. Now this stuff, we really should be doing this outside, but, you know, this really should be only done in well-ventilated areas. So we'll, in fact, let's just go crack this window. Preferably mix this up outside, but since it's like 11 degrees outside, I don't feel like hacking that today. <laughs> We're going to make two batches. This is a one ounce uh, measuring cup and I'm going to do it this way. Just going to pour it out into that cup there. No. And we're going to just pour it right into here. There's that there. Ugh. Yeah, this stuff definitely needs to be done outside <laughs> oh my gosh you find this in the section of the hardware store where you get your acetone and paint thinners all that kind of stuff take our little paintbrush we're going to take the narrow end of it and uh just sort of turn it all around here like so the xylene will oh that gummit some of it splashed out that's not what i want to have happen and then that's it. We'll put our cap on here. Mm. Wow, this is strong. I'm going to have to go open the door here. I don't think that window is going to be enough. This stuff is flammable, so uh, be very careful, folks. Shake it up like that some, you know. And just let that sit like overnight. And that xylene will just thin out that glue, and it'll become just like your head cement. Not, It's not head cement. It's really fly tying glue to bond all the things together because I need something that's going to glue the fly together because of the way I do a lot of jointed flies things like that you've seen me do in the past the, the, you know if you watch his video he just measured it out about like a, a teaspoon or, or, or so of a goop with enough uh, xylene to fill up the fly tying bottle he shakes it up well and lets it sit overnight and that's it so we're going to make two separate batches just to see that way we don't know if we, if maybe we get one batch wrong, maybe we get the other one right and whatever. I can see the glue sort of on the bottom of the thing there. It's going to take overnight for that to dissolve. So we may have to let that sit a couple of days and then I'll be back with you. And we'll test it out on some flies uh, when, it, uh, when it finally sets up cures and all that. Once again, you need xylene. You need amazing goop that you can get from Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places. You need something to put your glue in and some safe way to measure it. Wear gloves, have some way to mix it. Plenty of towels, things like that. And this message is Stuka Bear approved. <laughs>